Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Tweety? I hope you're all super well. I feel like I really have to clear the air, clear the comments and everything. I'm just going to be sitting here talking in front of the camera, explaining why I've decided to go to an MPL3 side. Now, I thought, you know what? Maybe throughout all this journey, the, what are we on? Over 500 plus days, nearly 600 days of vlogging and me sharing my journey with you that I have some sense about me. I don't make rush decisions. Everything I do is calculated. Now, the decision to go to an MPL3 side and knock back possible offers from MPL1 and MPL2, there's a reason for that. I feel like a lot of you thought that I was just doing this stupid thing and deciding, well, I'm going to MPL3 now. I discussed this specific decision with Pat. Pat knows his football. Pat definitely knows his football. Papa Tweedy. Dennis, if you don't know Dennis, he's helped me with a lot of my footballing decisions. Clayton, and a couple of others that I haven't actually introduced to the vlog. Now, each and every single one of these people said that signing for Parramatta was a good idea. And on top of that, I think it's a good idea as well. Now, let me explain why. The first reason, which, you know, is a great reason in itself, is that if you step down a level, yes, the level is a little bit lower than MPL2. There is a greater likelihood that I will play games. And that will be games against men in a first grade environment where I can develop and improve playing against men. If we look through my career, I haven't had a whole lot of that. So, you know, over this next 14 weeks, that's something that I can focus on. So there's that. Secondly, something you need to think about as well. You don't just think about the level and go, I'm going to go here and that's it. I signed for Parramatta for no odd reason. Number one, they're a great club. They were an MPL one three years ago. Yes, they had a bit of a downfall, new staff, there's new people around the club and I really think that they're gonna take off. The coach, Tony Basher. Now, if you were in Sydney, if you're in New South Wales, if you know his name, you know who I'm talking about. The per, you know what, I'll even say this. The scout dash agent in England who got me trials with sixth division clubs. He even knows who Tony Basher is and he even told me to speak to Tony Basher once I arrived to Australia which was a long time ago. That didn't end up happening but now I'm playing under him. Now he's a great coach and I've seen some of the things he's done over the years. He's sent four players from the MPL3 to go and play professionally in the likes of Singapore and other places in Asia. I've had one session with him. I think he's a great coach. I've seen a lot of his stuff before and I think he's very knowledgeable. He he has good connections and it's simple as that. You look at MPL1, what I would be looking at is the possible opportunity of getting in front of someone to go and play professionally. Here, I'm in front of the right people. We always say football is a sport where you need to be at the right place at the right time and sometimes it's just luck having that one person watch you. But now I'm in front of someone that's very influential every single week. They've also got some top, top players that I can learn from. We're talking ex-Socceroos players, guy who's won uh, the Asian Champions League. Like, I get that it may have seemed a little bit stupid to go from MPL 2 to MPL 3 if you didn't know the entire backstory. And I'll continue to say this, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes which I just can't talk about. There's been so many things that has happened in this journey where I'd go, I want to talk about this, but I just can't. So I think that's all I really need to say. Again, every decision I make, calculated. There's no like just rush decisions. I spoke to numerous people who agreed that this was the correct option. And do you think we're all delusional? I don't think so. I think we're on the right path. I'm excited for the future. So look, trust the process. Trust me, more importantly. I know what's going on. If I feel I've made the right decision, just please believe me in that. That is all I ask, please. <laughs> anyway, Team 20, I'm signing out. Make sure you like on the show. Subscribe. I'm going to join Jenny. I'll see you in the rest of the video. Bye.